this tutorial we're going to be using a database called books.db. This can be downloaded from the bit.ly link bit.ly slash ml dash books. We're going to use the select operation to get data from the database table. So that will include different records and different attributes. The first select operation we're going to do is going to select everything, the entire table. So let, let's see how we do that. So we do select star, so the star is a wildcard, and that means we're going to select every attribute from, and then this is going to be from books. So books is the name of the table that we're extracting the data from. Then we click on run here, and we can see here this is our entire table. So it's only a small table. It has one, two, three, four, five, six different attributes and it has eight records as you can see there of um, different books with their author, the year they were published, the publisher and, and the genre they fall under. Now if you want to select the different attributes, so not the whole table but different attributes, so essentially if you want to select out the different columns, we can select for example title, this would just return title of the book so we can have that. So I'll just we can of course select additional attributes and if you forget what the attributes are you can click on this little arrow here and list all the attributes that we have. So we're now going to include the title and the author. So when we run that now we get the title and the author attributes. Supposing we only want certain records from that. So supposing we only want to have the books of Michael Mapurgo from, from, that, from that database, from that table. So what we do then is we use the WHERE clause, where author equals, and then we type in Michael Mapurgo here. Make sure we're spelling it correctly. And then make sure we put down speech marks. And then we run that. And that will return then only the titles by Michael Mapurgo. And if we want to only include publications since 2000, then we can add in another condition, so and, so where author equals Michael Pumpergo, and year published, year published, make sure we spell that correctly, is greater than 2000, so that will return his books that have all been written since the year 2000. We click on run here and again that's only only one in this case. What we can do as well is we can order our selections alphabetically. So let's, let's try that as well. So we can put things alphabetically. So let's do order by, uh, let's do it by uh, title. order by title and then we can either choose ascending or descending so that's going from ascending will be starting with through A through Z from, from top to bottom or descending which will be the other way around so let's just do it ascending and then run that and we can see here these should now be in alphabetical order by their titles. So those are the fairly fundamental operations using select. So you can do many, many things with those operations. That's for a single table. With a multi-table database, it's a slightly trickier problem, but we'll come to that.